Well, today marks the start of the Lunar New Year. So farewell to the year of the rat and hello to the year of the ox. Like so many things, the pandemic forcing many to rethink how to celebrate. During normal times, folks visit relatives and friends, but not this year. I would just use reporter Safan Kim with how some are celebrating. <laughs> With the dragon dance in Confucius Plaza and the national anthem, the Lunar New Year celebration in Chinatown was underway. Officials from the NYPD and the FDNY's Phoenix Society helped kick things off. So I just want to wish everyone a happy New Year, um, healthy, uh, happy, healthy, and prosperous New Year. The entire world has been through a lot these last 12 months, and the Asian community was the first to bear the brunt of the coronavirus pandemic, both health-wise and economically. Uh, we're not going to have the firecracker, but we're going to use the confetti and the lion, the drums, to chase away the traditional evil in the Chinese tradition, which this year is the worst of them all, the COVID-19. So hundreds turned out for this joyful tradition, but it was drastically scaled down due to COVID. No parade like last year when a half a million came out and my Eyewitness News colleague Lucy Yang joined me on the Eyewitness News float. ABC7, a proud sponsor of the event. This year is the 22nd NYC Lunar New Year Celebration Firecrackers Festival, the Year of the Ox, associated with hard work and serenity, perhaps fitting because it's been a tough year full of blood, sweat and tears, and we can all hope for some calm ahead. Despite the suffering and the light that is now at the end of the tunnel as we strive to get vaccines for ourselves and our families. As for the parade, organizers hope to do it in a few months to coincide with Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month in Chinatown. Safan Kim, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.